In this video we'll talk about classes, what they are and what decides which elements belongs to a certain class. So here is the character table for C3V. For now, please only pay attention to this part. Here all symmetry operations are listed and grouped into so-called classes. The rotations are together and reflections are together. On the surface, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. We look for instance at C4V or OH. The symmetry operation seems to be arranged according to the type. But then you look at C2V, D2H, TH. In TH, for instance, C31 and C32 are seemingly different enough to deserve a separate class. And the question is, why? Before we dive into, let's remind ourselves that group theory is a part of abstract algebra, so there will be a bit of maths involved, but also remember that it would be unusual for a professor to demand in-depth explanation of group theory in a chemistry class. So most likely this video is only for your interest, so relax. And by the way, I use this book a lot when preparing for these videos, it's a good book. Anyway, so back to the main topic, why certain elements of a group belong to a particular class. So let's take two elements of a group, M and N. If this product is formed, then we know that the result must be equivalent to another element of the group, say Z. How to describe this relationship? We can say that M is converted to Z by a similarity transformation, or that Z is the similarity transform of M by N, or most often that M and Z are conjugate. So elements of the same class are conjugate, that's it. So let's do some examples. Let's see why symmetry operation E is always in a class on its own. So let's take a group C3V uh, as an example. We can work with ammonia, for instance. To find out if E is conjugate to any element in the group, we need to do a series of similarity transformations. So E is in the middle, is sandwiched by every other symmetry element in the group, including E itself. Notice that the operation on the right has to be an inverse. And please recall that x dot inverse of x gives e, the identity element. So sigmas are their own inverse. Inverse of rotation can be expressed in two ways. We can rotate the same angle anticlockwise, so inverse of c31 is c3 minus 1, or we can rotate by an angle that completes the full cycle. So if we rotate it by c31, that is 120 degrees, then we need to rotate by c32, that is by 240 degrees. So first row is trivial, in the second row you might first change C3-1 to C3-2, then we take advantage of the fact that E commutes with any element, please recall that this is one of the axioms, so we swap E and C3-2, and then we take advantage of the other property, that is associativity, and we put some brackets, and notice that C3-2 and C3-1 gives E. Of course there is more than one good way of doing things, we might just go simply from right to left, and we would also be able to show that we end up with E. It's more of a convention to change, for instance, C3-1 one to C32 so that all the rotations are in the same direction. The third row is very similar and then reflections follow the same pattern. So in general, E is in a class on its own because it commutes with every element. E and X minus 1 swap places and then X minus 1 dot X gives E. Now let's see why C31 and C32 are in the same class in C3V group. So let's start with C31 and let's do a similarity transformation with every other element. Please remember to include C31 as well. E is trivial, so are the rotations. For reflections, we don't have a choice but to do operations on a diagram. Notice that the group is non-abelian, so we want to be careful with the order of operations. Right to left, I hope that now it becomes repetitive for you. So we can see that the similarity transformation gives only C31 and C32 and no other symmetry elements. That's why C31 is in the same class as C32, and that can be confirmed by doing the same thing for C32. So if you want to, you can do the same for C32 and the reflections. You can also do the same for water molecule and show that each of the symmetry operations belongs to a different class. I will show the answer as a sort of slideshow at the end of the video. Of course, there's a link to the PDF slides below as well. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye!